Yes, let's see. So everyone take their shoes off, yeah? All right, yes. Bye guys, let's go. Yeah. They needed you, they needed you, Kevin. They needed you back, they needed you. Joel here from Cheeky Sport, and I've been called in because there's a Beatty Squad crisis. They're saying there's four L's going on. I don't know if it's because Justin ain't been there, they've been losing to SC Dons, or they're just simply dead. Boys, you gotta tell me what's going on, man. You guys got me here because it's a bad thing going on. To be honest with you, man, we lack, um, I think we was lacking a bit of character in that team. I feel like certain characters were missing. To what characters? Uh, the likes of Justin. Uh -huh. um, you know, there's certain players that are not turning up to certain games, you know, one games and, you know, not taking it seriously. Name and shame. Name and shame. Yeah, bro, don't yeah, be yeah, out here. Like, you can't be having. Yeah, if we're gonna be, if we're gonna be breaking this session down and I'm here to do bits, no. we gotta find out what the problem is. Name yeah. and shame, who's fault is it? I, ideally, ideally, the main problem is, the main person that I believe, where it comes down is the firstly, the characters wasn't there. Uh. You know, the rap players weren't there. You know, i.e. Rash wasn't there. You know, the ones that played throughout the whole season, you know, Sherry wasn't there. Sherry mm. ended up turning up at SA Don's game, which I felt like it was too late. Mm. Um, the oh, like, my myself, I was, missing, I was missing the first three games. I was away. Some uh, saying that you're focusing more on your rap career than you nah, are on the football. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> not, not necessarily, no. I was actually away. I was away in Canada, Toronto, playing for another team actually in a tournament. Um, and yeah, we lost in the semi-final there, so nah, and I played there. But no, we're just missing the, the, the right characters to get us through the line, man, really and truly. But um, just, you know, people, you know, bickering at each other. You can just see it wasn't us, do you know what I'm saying? So there was some sort of energy in that team that wasn't BT's and it surprised me and, you know, shows, you know, I could see, I, I saw a lot of things just from the outside looking in and just analysing certain players that I thought, you know, they could drive the team forward, but they really can't, so. You still haven't named and shamed those players, though. I'm looking for names. There's names, there's people that need to take responsibility. Now, Who are they? Players, we've got Fio Ola, number one. He needs to take big <laughs> responsibility. I personally believe so. Um, you've got Imad. Mm. He's not, he wonder, we keep calling him Wonder, but he's not a boy anymore. He's not, he's not. He's, grown, he's, he's, not. A, he's a grown adult now. Yeah. He needs to grow up and, mm. and, and, and take things, again, when he, uh, big games. You've got Jay Knight. I did, you can't really blame Jay Knight, to be fair. He got, injured in, that first, he got injured in that first game, didn't he? So now, nah, so sorry, excuse me. Yeah, take away Jay now. I'll just yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah Jay now. Cool. He got he got injured. Do you know what I mean? The player yeah, got yeah, injured. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he's, he's just trying to get back to fitness and that. But other than that, man, there's 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 also um, you know there's mis individual mistakes. You know the keeper. You know the first game against AFTV. You know make poor poor goals we conceded. How are you not losing? I, I'm gonna have to. Uh, how are you losing against AFTV? Like, I got mm. a part time YouTube team at Cheeky Sport, and even we <coughs> smacked them five two. Like light work. <laughs> Head loss! We missed we missed chances because people people weren't sharp enough. Bro, you're up on another one, day, Calvin, no Calvin, Calvin, Calvin begs that. I'm not trying to say that, but fam, that's not an excuse, bro. Bro, it's the excuse. It's the excuse. What's going on? To be honest with you, um, obviously I wasn't there due to um, some technical issues, which I'm sure we'll discuss later. Well, what's the technical issue? I want to discuss it now. <laughs> but, okay, well, there was, um, there's a lot of people that believe probably they can manage a team better. Uh. And um, the management who, who, who look after the Beatty's mm. brand wanted to give them the opportunity during pre-season to, um, to, I suppose, to hang themselves really. Yeah. Let's, let's just be honest about it. And um, they got that opportunity and they quit halfway through. Um, and yeah, that was that was the main reason. Um, I was away for I would have I was on a, I was on a holiday for the AFC game anyway, but yeah. I would have been available for the other games. Um, for me, um, a lot of people felt they could manage a team, and managing is not easy. Um, I mean, I've been doing it for seventeen years. It's not easy. Yeah, players have to have respect. People have to know their roles. People need to know who's in charge. And I felt by watching the pre, so I watched all the preseason games, and I was embarrassed. Yeah, everyone, everyone trying to take charge, everyone thinking, yeah. right, because mm. certain people are not there, yeah. it's my time yeah. to shine, shine, but yet they're not really even... And a lot of people got airtime, but airtime for losing games. I, me, I wouldn't want to yeah. get airtime for losing games, so mm. you understand? Um, so to me, it was embarrassing, it was upsetting, it was hurt, I was communicating with all the players and the management team every game. It wasn't like I wasn't, I might not have been physically there, but I was there in spirit and, 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 and trying to help people and motivate people to, to, to continue to be strong. Because some people's confidence was gone and mm -hmm. some people was like, please, can you be there? They didn't want to play. And it's only four games though. Like, I mean, it shows a good standard, for, but it's four games. So come on. For me, it's not, it, as I said, I, it's, not even about, it's not about the loss. For me, it's not about losing. Mm -hmm. I, 
I me mean, as a manager, I'm going to lose games. It's yeah. not about losing. There's a, there's a way to lose. Yeah. You understand? For me, apart from the AFC game, which I think it was a bad L, the rest mm. of the games, it's not about the lo- losing. I don't think if we would have showed professionalism, togetherness, mm. um, the character, character mm. and lost those other three games, and it, I don't think it would have been the end of the world. But mm. for me, the bigger problem was too many Chiefs, mm. too many mm. people having their say. I, I mm. see people on the sideline that I've never seen part of Betis coming part of the team talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, it was yeah. embarrassing. So, yeah. Um, but like I said, that's all been cleared up now. In the future, um, I'll be present at every game, whether it's a friendly or competitive game. Mm-hmm. And um, um, yeah, that's it. So like okay. I said, it was, so that's, it, it was poor. It was poor. So that's been identified. So we've got two things identified. Vinny, first of all, why are you wearing army tracksuits on top of your jeans or behind <laughs> your jeans? What's going on with all of that, bro? No, I've got a bit, haven't I? So it's that's, just... that's, 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 that's mad. It's all right, we'll talk about that after. We're ready to talk about football now. Yeah, well, it's all part of the game, mate, what you do off the pitch. Come on, chat But all right, me. cool. So talk to me from what you could see, what's been going on yourself? From obviously coming off the back of a decent season, I'll be honest, going into pre-season, myself probably included with the AFTV game, a lot of us probably thought it was just going to be a turn up and win 3-0. Mm. Like, that mentality was very much sort of there from, from before the game started. And then to build on that with everything else, so... Did DT play that game? I don't even know who that is, I'll be honest. Oh, OK, cool. That's a problem. You've got to know who your squad... Your, your, he didn't. Oh, that would have no. been something else. So, but you've got to look at the build-up to that game as well. So, as Justin saying, as a manager, a manager for me is not just picking 11 players. So, there's a lot of nonsense that goes on with that. So, for example, we turn up to the game, there's no kit. So if you've got a proper gaffer there, the gaffer's turning up and he's, he's making phone calls and he's sorting out the kit. He's sorting out balls. We're borrowing a football from them to warm up with. We're having to walk over to them and ask for a ball. And they're giving us their flattest, worst ball and all, and all running jokes and doing all of that. Do you get what I mean? And you're, you're talking about we're the, one of the elite football teams on YouTube, but we're, but we're going gonna to ask them for footballs and we're borrowing a kit from a Sunday team from round away. Like, for, for me, that's all a joke. And obviously... It, it takes big characters to sort of look past that and lift the team in terms of going forwards. And we wasn't able to do it that day. Like, individual errors, myself included, during that game. And then just the lack of a, a consistent goalkeeper. You got, that's a goalkeeper that stepped in like last minute for that game. And then lack of, a, lack of a striker. Jay Knight played all of 10 minutes that game. Granted, it's not his fault, but as a squad, we should have options going forwards. And looking from AFTV to now, we haven't filled that centre forward role since then. Would you say, moving on, would you say that it's hard to fill that centre centre forward role because the, the levels are so high, you know? Because you can't just roll up, as you probably know. You can't, you ain't just gonna take any striker. It has to be a striker. And we know that Jay's got this in it. A few good strikers, but they wasn't, wasn't available. You okay. know, Jam okay. was away. Michael's just coming back from uh, having surgery, mm. and then Jay got injured. So, so now would you say you're, you're, the boys are? If you if you were to play a game, the options are there basically. Still not there. Yeah. To be honest. Oh, no, at not. the moment, because obviously some are probably still Rash as well, injured. Yeah, Rash wasn't there. Mm. Um, to me, th- I don't think at any of the games. Pay, maybe the SC Dons by one or two players. No, not even the SC Dons. Because there's three or four still missing there. Don't think in any preseason games they're the full squad. But that's football. Look, I, I'm a manager. I have to tell you now you're very rarely going to have your, your best, strongest level that you think on paper. Mm. You, if, anytime you get to do that, you're very lucky. Really? And, and nine, times even, out, even. nine times out of ten, I'll be honest with you, the strongest squad I've ever had, you normally lose that game because you've got so many options. So I, I would not use that as an excuse. As I said, for me, the organisation, as, as Vinny was saying, is prep, I mean, people, if you have watched any of the games yourself, Quincy was speaking yeah. about it a lot on camera, no warming up, people just chilling, joking. Yeah, that's Listen, just, I know that's it's Sunday just, football. That's not, that's not Sunday acceptable football. regardless, and man. And for me, as long as you're doing at least a 15, 20 minute warm on a Sunday football, it, 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 that's fine. But mm. I'm seeing people rolling up on the pitch without even warming up, not even mm. stretching. Mm-hmm. And Jay probably pulled the injury because they didn't warm up. Mm. You know what I mean? And what about yourself? You, said, you, you were saying that the roles ain't been filled in. What would you like to see in the next month? Of course, we want to see Ws, but it's, there's a way of losing, like what Justin said, but there's also a way of winning, right? Yeah, I just want to address a few points, to be fair. Can't you Obviously, it? I've come in two games into pre-season. I weren't there for the AFTV game, mm. and I weren't there for the Rising Ballers. So you're, you're not to blame? No, 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 no there's no shit in blame anywhere. There, if so you make a mistake, you should own the responsibility, but I'm not saying I'm to blame or that I need to take it. I just weren't there. And I agree with the preparation for pre-season was poor. Um, Isn't that down to the manager, though, wouldn't you say? Listen, Theo, but as I said to you at the beginning of this, there was a decision by management mm. for certain people to have the option of taking charge of pre-season. So the, 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 the board? Yes. I agree. Board. 
I agree that Justin should have been there for all four preseason mm -hmm. games. He should have been. There's no way he shouldn't have been there. The two preseason games before I took over as manager, um, there was a lack of commitment, there was a lack of communication, there was a lack of organisation, there was a lack of passion, there's a lack of several things. Um, but I feel like when we look at the SC Don games and the Kitchener games, I think they're a different category compared to the two first pre-season games. Mm -hmm. But when we're moving forward, um, we need to see everyone committed. Justin mentioned about not having a full squad. But at the end of the day, at least a 50% of the squad needs to be available. And if that is an injury, then you're still there supporting their teammates. That's exactly, probably the biggest yeah. thing that is, needs to be um, corrected going forward, which has been discussed by management and, and myself and the players. That if you're injured or not, you should still be supporting your team. No, SE Don, if you see them, they've got all their players, whether they're fit, injured or not, mm. on the sideline, supporting the team. And I think that's where we've gone wrong. And it's, 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 it's upsetting because we had, a, I think we only lost maybe one or two games in five months was the end of last season. And finished the season very strong, won the, the league on the last day of the season. So you'd think that momentum would have took us. But maybe, look, maybe people need, to, as Musti said at the beginning, if people need to take ownership and look at this. So maybe two of you have got ahead of this. <laughs> Obviously today, another loss but a better performance. Just like in the other games, our finishing lets us down sometimes and I feel like with the first goal that we conceded, we had a chance to... There was two against one, we shouldn't really be beating two guys. And also in the box, it's like Ansel turn, it happened against rising ballers. They turn and they shoot, we can't let the, set and the striker turn, just get tight to him, let him set it back out. I just, want, I just want to stop you there, Q. We're talking about people getting ahead of themselves. Q, um, I was asked to do my, my, my homework by Ebbs. Yeah. You know me, professional, yeah, <laughs> get it done. Uh, one of the most interesting comments, Beatty's get back to being humble and get the players that used to be in the team back in. Beatty's been taking L's like their alternatives to W's. <laughs> the record is still 2-1 to Beatty's even though they took an L. Now there's much more that's being said. I saw comments from the Dons Big respect to Beatty's is where the jab comes in. Always good banter between both teams, but been a poor preseason from them, and they know it. But we know 100% they'll bounce back and show why they are one of the best teams in the scene. Look, bruv, I don't care what niceties they wrote there, yeah? The, for the fact that they can, yeah, they've can, they got the confidence to get in there. Yeah. And you know what I mean? Still, How you yeah. want? You want to make that top comment? Mm -hmm. It's still embarrassing. Q, you got a... I've always, I've, I've always said it, yeah, and I'll stick to it. Mm. I've always said that um, like these four losses have been... It's, been, it's humbled some of us, hopefully. Mm. Because the way I see it, I don't really speak on camera, but the way I see it is that we approach games and not everyone, but certain players think that, okay, because I'm gifted naturally, we're just going to turn up and we're mm. going to beat the team. Mm. But there's, like right now, there's, there's, there's more to football than just being good at football. Mm. You need to be able to work hard. And I'm not saying, I'm not saying go, go and run for like 90 minutes, mm. but work smart. Like if someone tells you to play, I don't know, your, your left mid, someone tells you to play in the, in the centre, play centre mid. Or if you're centre mid and someone tells you to play left mid, play, play left mid. Just do what the manager's telling you to do. But Yeah, but at the, at the moment, I felt like with the pre-season, without having a manager in charge, we just, mm. people are allowed to play where they wanted to play. Yeah. Um, like, being a manager and playing at the same time, you, you can't really see what's, what's going wrong. Mm. So you're, you're being biased. Mm. So we had to get like, input from Ebbs on the sideline. He didn't want to do that. Yeah. It's just like... At Kim, the end of the day, I say it like we, Kim, we've, Kim we've got the talent, but we need we need we need to we need to put it, we need to put it to use as well. Kim and Lee Vincent, shout out to you, said um, Beatties aren't the same anymore because they think they're better than what they are, <sighs> guys. That's I. That's is a, that's there a way, Justin? I'm going to come to you in a second. I know I know you're burning. What would you say about that comment when you hear it? Yeah, it hurts. Of course it does, but that's all part and parcel of this. Like traditionally, Sunday league football has always been turn up, have a laugh for your mates, and play. But when you go, when you take it from Sunday league to you know, now, I've got X amount of thousands of people watching your games and having they're making their own opinions on you. Then unfortunately, you have to prepare differently, and you have to come at that with a, effectively a Saturday football mentality. And not enough people are able to do that. They can't differentiate from. Sunday league to jolly up, we'll turn up, we'll have a laugh. If we win, we win. If we lose, it's great. But at the moment, we're, we're in a position where now we're now giving other teams bragging rights that they never had. AFTV didn't have no bragging rights against us. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you guys individual questions right now. Musti, I'm going to start with you. 
Um, I think body language has been an issue even in this interview, if I'm honest with you. I don't know if it's a personal thing, but that's what I'm asking. What are your goals now? You've been in Beatty's for a while, Skinny Baldi. Everybody knows you as the lively one. We tune in to watch you. Do you know what I mean? Like, I've known you for years now. Yeah. Like, this is the, the saddest that I've seen you. What are your goals going forward, individually and as a team? Individually, I was obviously um, growing as a, you know, um, content creator. You know, creating content, making is that content. One point in winning games? No, it's not. But that you asked me individually as a person. Now, that's that's my my goals, and you know, hopefully, growing Beatty's as a as a as a brand in itself. Um, as a team, going for all the trophies that we can. You know, we're entered in six trophies, and just going for all of them really, without without leaving no regrets on the pitch. You know what I'm saying? So, ideally, we all if we all come together and work together, just like we did last year, man, we can achieve anything. And the, the season before that, in fact, as well, which was which was probably our think well, our best season, but um, yeah, just get the ground running and, and just prove everyone wrong and show them why we are still the best and why we are still here. Mm -hmm. Now, I've spoken about we've spoken about AFTV a lot and SC Dons, Rising Boulders as well was one of the. Yeah. Yeah. What the. Oh. <laughs> Theo, that's all due to pressure. It's all due to pressure. Now, of course, they're a good team, you know. Um, when you're looking back at it now, especially that game, where would you say that the changes have to be made from a managerial perspective, tactics? Well, if you look at, the, um, it, like I said, if you look at the team that, I picked when we played in, the, in, in our main competitions mm -hmm. and the team that played in pre-season. I would say there was a lot of talented players that were played in pre-season, but they wouldn't play because, for me, not because they're not good enough on the ball, they're not good enough off the ball. Mm. They don't do the ugly side of the game. Now, this is not being disrespectful to Quincy, but Quincy, I would say, is my main player, my best player, my most consistent player, and not because he's the most talented, because I know I'm going to get a 7 out of 10 out of him every single week. Mm. Guaranteed. G Neville the team. Exactly that. Mm. And every team needs a Gary Neville. Now, someone like Imed or Theo or Rash, one week they're going to be a 10 out of 10. Mm. And they're going to be the people who say they should be professional footballers, they shouldn't yeah, be on the yeah, top of yeah, the yeah, yeah, Comments yeah. will say that. And yeah, I agree yeah, with that. Yeah, yeah. And the following week, they might come and play with different mentality. Four or five. And a four or five out of 10, and you might have to drag them off. The Quincy's, the Muslims, the mm. Olu's, the Vinnie's, the Jams, even Jams, you know, they're kind of players, they're going to always play on my team because I know what I'm going to get from them. Mm -hmm. They're going to give me a minimum or something. Mm -hmm. Justin, do you see, sorry to cut you off, do you see that the, the aim of people trying to be YouTubers more than the team now? Is that a, is that a problem? Like, because you're the manager, you see I, it more than... I, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll be honest with you, you've hit the nail on the head with that. And, and for me, I know that is important because it's about growing a brand and, 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 and potentially it can be financially rewarding for some people, mm -hmm. if not all of us. Mm -hmm. um, but for me, first and foremost, it's about winning football matches and it always will be. And the day that stops, then I probably wouldn't be a manager anymore. So, um, like I said, I, I see some people like, even in our, in our WhatsApp group, sort of getting accepting, oh, it's just another loss, another loss. It's, it's, it's more than that. For me, we've worked so hard to build it up to, to where it is mm -hmm. and we haven't lost many games. Um, well, before three seasons, we haven't lost many games. And mm. for me, too many people, as Quincy said, was playing positions that they know they will never ever play, have a chance of playing if I was managing them. Not, not even know we're going to be on that How did positions. that even happen? How did that happen? So, you, you know, you know what I mean? Like, if that's the case, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be playing up front next season. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm 39, so <laughs> we wouldn't be in problems. Bro, you got to share some of that youth juice still. <laughs> i got to talk about, of course, there was the Kitchener game as well. Oh, wow, open up! I'll be honest, lads. Obviously, we've been playing well the first half an hour, but if you don't shoot, you don't score. Let's shoot more. Let's shoot more. It looks like none of those will shoot. Final third, everyone's getting there. We're doing tippy tappy, sideways, sideways. This sideways, you know where the goal is. You know where the goal is. You don't even look, look, look at the goal. Just shoot. I'd rather you shoot than miss than hold it. Get the ball! Let's go, Hass! Shoot on side, the keeper don't like it! Um, this season, I'll start with you. This season, 
who do you think will shine? Because we've spoken a lot about the negatives. I want to come here and lift up the morale. We've 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 got out what the issues were, but now I want to see like what are we thinking for this season. Who do you reckon will shine from what you've seen? Any new players, current players? What would you say? And who? Um, for, for this season, I feel like with the competitions that we're entered in and with the with the league and that still being a factor, I'm still, regardless of pre-season, I'm still confident that we're coming for at least four of them six trophies. Wow. And I'll say that to anyone that asks me. And if I'm honest, four, I'm being nice. Like, I want all six. And with the players and the squad that we've got, I don't see why not. I don't see why pre-season has to sort of put a downer on that. Like, let's be honest, playing... Playing last season underneath Justin every week, the back four that we put out, I think we went something like 12 games and conceded one. Wow. And the, we were scoring threes and four. One game, we like 10-0 and stuff like that. So underneath the right management and the right direction and people willing to listen and do their job for the team, not what they think they're best at, what, what the gaffer tells you to go and do. If we do that, collectively as a team, I'll still comfortably say there's... That there's... <laughs> Every, every opportunity for us to go and win five, six trophies this year. It's, it's, about, it's about, like you said, listening to the gaffer. I think people have been watching the YouTube clips. You know, they've seen the professional footballers coming down and they're, they're thinking, yeah, I want to get involved, but they're forgetting the fundamentals, the basics. Is yeah, that, 100%, that's... because I make a, a little comment in one of the games that if you're, if you're still chasing this, this professional dream, which some of them are, and that's great, like, go and do that. But at the end of the day, if you're put in any changing room or in front of any manager and he's talking, and you want to open your mouth and say something that that's out of place or that there's a time and a place to say things, yeah. at less for argument's sake, at a professional side, you're getting shown the door straight away. Mm. So that mentality needs to be taken onto a Sunday. When someone's talking, shut up and listen. And uh, collectively, as individuals, we're not great at that. You've got, you got to let us know in the comments, guys, you know what I mean? What do you think has been going on and where do you think the Baytees will end? Of course, I'm going to go back to this comment at the end, but I just want you guys to get flowing whilst we're still talking here. Give us your opinions. We're really interested to hear it and we will be shouting you out as well. Now, for yourself, what's next? Do you know what? With many pre-seasons, sometimes clubs have terrible pre-seasons and then go on and have a very successful season. OK, pre-season isn't the be-all and an end-all. All right, I see Beatty, similar to what Vinny just said, kicking on and going, potentially going unbeaten until Christmas. That's mm. the talent and the, the, the great depth that we have in this squad, okay? Um, people are going to come in, people are going to have a kick up the bum and go, some people might be humbled. Mm -hmm. And then that's going to be make people go, okay, now I need to step it up. Okay, now there's trophies on the line. Mm. Now there's thousands of people... People want to beat you. Yeah. People want to beat you. You do know people want to beat you. People want to beat you. I think I could beat you guys now. Oh, you know what I mean? And that's Russ the correct, isn't it? That's Russ the But it's, yeah, it's true. And, and the truth is, you shouldn't even, shouldn't be surprised because if you're playing against anyone, right, they're going to want to, if they're real winners, I say, they're going to feel like that. So you have to be very aware of that because you're going to be playing better teams and everyone's going to go, I think I can do it. So you've really got to be, you guys have got a lot to hold. Yeah, the players in the Hackney and Leighton League with mm, us, and he mm. played against Beatty last season. Mm, mm. And you know what he said to me, and I worked with him, he said, on the Friday before the Sunday playing, he went, I'm just going to give you an extra 20, 30 percent. There you go, there you go. 35, 40, 50, 60,000 60, people, people are going to see, see his it. performance. Mm. And that's what you've got to expect with every season. Mm, mm. The levels are going to go up, mm -hmm. and then our level mm. needs to rise as well. Mm -hmm. Q. Well, just on that, yeah. the only thing... The team that finished second bottom in our league got relegated. Mm. I think they only won two games all season and we only lost once in the league, I believe, and that was to that team. And wow, they beat us, which wow. was really early in the season, the but, and they, they deserved it, but they just yeah. raised their levels, but you know they can't consistently do that because they're yeah. not good enough. But mm. every week is a cup final for us. Exactly. They, they, even those games that we've won comfortably, mm. I, like if you really watch the game, like if it was against anyone else, it would probably been 20, 30 goals mm. because they're still raising their levels. Like, But if we click against anyone, and that's no disrespect, I know we've we've called out people in pre-season, but as long as I'm, we, I believe we beat ourselves, I've never watched us, even in pre-season, and said to a team, they just ironed us out because, and we've been professional, and yeah. we've done everything right, and they're just mm. better than us. If, if I see that, I'll stand there and clap and say, boys, they're better than us, just take it on the chin. Mm. But every time I've seen us lose, it's because ourselves. Mm. If you even look in our mm. league when we lost, it's because a game, that little thing what crept in pre-season crept in now and again. I can't ever think of a team that just beat us, and I'm like, wow, well done, like, you're better than us, and fair play to you, because I'm a fair person, like, mm. I mean, everyone's entitled to win a football match, but yeah. I believe if our right applications and our professionalism and our mindset is right, we will beat anyone, 
and that's anyone. Mm-hmm. But it has to come through the house first. It can't. We can't worry about other things. We we spoke just before we started shooting, and we were talking about winning mentality. Um, do you expect for the team to meet the expectations for the season? Because, guys, you know what I mean. Let's 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 not forget. Do you know what I mean? Like you guys are winning cups. You know, the the, 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 the subscribe the subscribers are rising, and we're on thirty what thirty eight thirty something like that thirty nearly for the God bless him. You know what I mean? It's gonna rise. It's gonna rise. What are the expectations on the pitch and off the pitch? What are we talking about? And are there any new 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 announcements you guys are gonna be making? Talk to us, man. You know what it is, yeah? I don't wanna sound too negative, but I've been speaking to Musti and Osse, yeah, and like from playing the four games in the preseason, like I was just I was just real with myself. I told I told Musti afterwards, I was like, like we shouldn't expect for like performances to just change just like that. Because I'm just looking at some players, I'm like I'm like, you're not even trying. So like, what, but why? And, that, and, and that's, and, 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 and I don't understand And, we're, and we're, talk, we're talking about unity playing for the badge, but there's some players that are giving up after like the second goal has gone yeah, in. But, but I don't understand why, okay, this is me from, look, I don't understand why that should be the case. Because the way I see it is this, you look are Beatty squad. There's people out there that's dying to play for you guys. Like with, why do I have to wait for someone, not to improve, if we're talking about improvement, it's a different situation, right? But why do I have to wait for you to feel like you want to do it? I'm not being funny, yeah, but if you're working at my company, bruv, yeah, and I get rid of guys like that, if I come in and you're not, because I don't, I'd rather retrain someone and find someone that's hungry than wait to see whether you feel like well, it or not. And that's okay. it goes to a self-entitlement, I think. I think, of what? What, what you got to think, and how my mentality is, is that, You've got, if you're on that list, yeah. of whoever was doing anything, you've got to count yourself as being the last person put on. So that means that you've got to do the most to make sure that your name is always, forever, on that list. And that goes in football, that goes in whatever Beatties want to do. And I think there's too many people that go, I'm going to be on that list. Yeah, so they're so entitled. They're all, really? Yeah, entitled and, with, and then and, they're and relaxing. Yeah. Like that. For me, that's all going to change. I was, yeah, I was going to say... For me, it, it, it's, it's, it's either you buy into it or you go. It's as simple as mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. There's not going to be anyone... You're doing trials. Uh, uh, me, personally, if, if the whole squad is... Uh, for me, if we can keep the same squad as, as Vinny said earlier, if we keep the same squad as we had last year, I don't think we need anyone. Only, I know one or two ain't going to be able to commit next season to what we are expecting. We'd have to replace those. But, yeah. but Justin, don't, don't you think that when you look at all the top teams, and yes, I'm, I'm talking professional teams, but this is what it's like. When you inject new blood, yeah, well, we blood that deserves to be there. I, like, I personally, as the manager, don't believe we need wholesale changes. No, I don't believe that. Because if you said to me now, out of the squad that we had last year, a, a, a strong 11 with a bench, I think we'd be very fine. Don't do a Wenger, you know? Because Wenger got too comfortable with... No. Do, you know what I mean? And, and that was the problem. For me, it's not like... Okay, it's not like someone's getting old or someone's like legs are gone or something like that. For me, it's the mind. Mm. Mm-hmm. As you said about five minutes ago, if their not, heart's not in it and they're not doing what I asked, they'll, they'll get one chance and they'll be gone. Mm. So, but they've had four. No, but that's three pre- seasons. But, but, three seasons, but, but part of what sets you up for the that, season. But their though, excuses, Justin. even though they're part of the problem, could be okay, but there was no leader. So, do you understand? So, what you're going to give them a chance with well, a leader? Did he do it when I was in charge? One or two of them did, and he sort of didn't play for two or three months. So, you understand? So, I'm saying to you is, I can't, like, for, for example, Quincy probably doesn't feel he's, he played his best in pre-season, but I know what Quincy did for me last season and the season before and the season before. So, you understand what? Because so, he was part of the pre-season. Should, mm-hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, for me, is it would be simple. You either buy into what I, I want to happen or you don't play. Mm-hmm. If you're not committed, you don't play. If you can only come one or, once or twice a month, you don't play. If you're not, if you're injured, you come and support your teammates. It's a family. You got, to, you got to be, you got all got to be into it. I want to see thirty players on the sideline, whether they're playing or not. If they're part of the Beatty's brand, mm-hmm. you understand? With management are there, mm-hmm. all the media team are there. So why can't those kind of players? Different if you've got personal issues, we understand. But you know what I mean? People should choose their holiday. Shouldn't go on holiday during the season anyway. Mm-hmm. But for me, there'll be one or two positions that we have to strengthen, just because they're not going to be able to commit or. Their, their priorities are elsewhere. Maybe Saturday football was their priority. And that's fine. But then we replace them. Understood. All right. So now, 
I've been very happy to, to hear what's been going on. I'm glad that we've got it all out. It's been like a doctor session, do you know what I mean? Like, it's a psychology thing. We all need it, do you know what I mean? It's been introduced in the English game for over 20 years now. So I'm very happy to be sitting down with you guys and I do hope for a, a better season, do you know what I mean? Like, I say a better season, a good start to the season. Like you said, you want to go for all the cups and let's be honest with you, with a talented squad that you guys have, it's very possible. I just want you guys to give final words to the cameras wherever you're looking. Please keep it brief. Over over there to, to the Bay Man Lloyd and let, and give the guys watching a quick message about Baytees this season. Busty, we start with you, man. Hard work. And that's all you're going to get from me. Hard work and from the team, man. There's no one that's going to be slacking. And yeah, stay tuned, man. And subscribe. Yeah, this guy's trying to raise his profile. <laughs> what about yourself, Justin? Yeah, like, like I said, most of the, um, the, the viewers know what I'm about. It won't be any major changes for myself. Um, the only thing we will be doing this season is there'll be no one having a say apart from management. There'll be no players having input unless management asks them to. It will be... They're so doing it's a dictatorship. Talk. It's going to be like Congo. Well, I Latin, be like that because we're all like I just, for me, for me, <laughs> for me, when a manager's speaking or, or coach is speaking or, or, or senior player speaking, I don't think people should be having an input. You know what I mean? There's, do your job on the pitch. That's it. Man like Mussolini, Justin, you know. Go on, G. Tell him. Yo. What about, <laughs> what about yourself? You know what? All I'm going to say is, on a sort of, on a defensive note, all I'm going to say is, on behalf of myself and Quincy, you're going to get clean sheets and you're going to get clean sheets consistently for the whole season. And clean sheets win games. So that's all you're getting from me. And we, we win games. Baytees, we move. Hopefully we don't get army trousers underneath jeans as well. <laughs> Hopefully, because I, I ain't feeling that. No. What about yourself, man? Yeah, hey, um, Baytees is a family. Mm. We're only going to get stronger and better from this. We've had a few ups, um, we've had a few deep lows, mm. but we're only going to get better. So mm. keep liking, keep subscribing and keep commenting. Well, no, I, I was going to I was gonna say, we're just going to give you a lot of hard work, man. Like, at the end of the day, you can only, you can only work hard. And if the hard work's not enough, then what can you do in it? Just keep working hard, that's it. That doesn't mean anything. Guys, <laughs> listen, Joel here from Cheeky Sport. Make sure you check out Cheeky Sport as well. Uh, Bay T Squad, lots of love. Uh, I want to come back and do this, you know what I'm saying? If there's some good content that we can sort out, make sure you guys shout at me, man, do you know what I mean? I reckon we can take it by storm. Best shout out to you guys. I want to give a massive shout out to Theo as well, just because, you know what I mean, he's a good guy, friend of mine. I'm always getting at him, but yeah. See you guys soon. Production team, everybody, thanks for letting us use the space. Bill me for the, the carpet, yeah? And I'll see you guys soon. Thanks to Joel, guys, yeah? Appreciate it, guys. Have a good one. Baytees!